Um, I just want to thank a few people. Uh, what should I start with? The guys from Dimmicks, I guess, for lending us this space tonight. Uh, Louise and all the guys who helped put up the posters and pull the space together. Thanks very much for letting us use your home and making us feel welcome. Uh, Jimmy Orr. Where is Jimmy Orr? Jimmy Orr. Uh, Jimmy Orr is a, a friend of mine from way back. I remember sitting in line with him at 4 a.m. on Collins Street queuing up for tool tickets. <laughs> it was a week after I would signed with my literary agent, so I had my laptop in my lap and I was typing away on amends that were going to get put into the book and then go on and get sold and get made into this thing that's in people's hands tonight. And I remember Jimmy finding out about it and being exceptionally excited about it. So when I decided I needed some design work for it, uh, I asked Jimmy, he was probably in the middle of writing some ad that went on to win some enormous award at some international ad festival, but he, <laughs> but he took the time out of his busy schedule to design some logos for me. They're on the cover, you can see them kind of up in the top left hand corner of the book cover and they're on the chapter headers. And they made a little bit of a bigger showing in the US edition, so Jimmy for taking the time out of your schedule and making helping make this book what it is. Thank you very much brother. Uh, Tovo, who's not here, so I don't need to thank him. Mr. Brad Carpenter, <laughs> standing over there, who's made his way all the way here from Perth. Uh, Brad helped me put together my website on very short notice. He has a very demanding client. And he uh, never calls me rude names. So, Brad, <laughs> thanks for doing everything, man. Thanks for continuing to do the work and for making the effort to be here tonight. It's awesome to see you and your lovely wife, Claire. Uh, who else? I guess everyone who's here tonight, really. Um, everyone has helped serve food, so Caro and Amy and my wife, Amanda, who I'll probably think properly later. But, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's really weird being, a, being an author. I guess I get to call myself an author now. I'm just a writer, which is probably the strangest thing out of all this. but. Being an author is a really lonely job as a general rule. You spend a lot of your time by yourself. You sit in a room at 1 a.m. and you've got to get up to work the next day and you don't have a literary agent, you don't have a book deal, you don't have anything except this million to one shot. Um, this absurd dream that you can actually pull this thing off. And it's very easy to feel alone in those situations. But I look around the room and I see people who've come here from interstate and overseas. There are people in this room that I've known since I was in high school. There are people in this room that I've never met before tonight, but made their way from interstate and across the Tasman. That's totally an ocean, I count that. So, um, yeah, they've all been brought into this room by this absurd little dream that I made. So everyone who made the effort to come here tonight, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. When I look back on my life, uh, such as it is, tonight is going to be one of the most special nights out of all of them. So for everyone who came here, honestly, thank you. Uh, last but definitely not least, I should thank a very special lady without whom none of us would be here tonight. Uh, I probably would be an author in this book that you're hopefully going to buy. <laughs> uh, wouldn't exist. Um, a woman who is my most brutal critic and my biggest fan. She, I dedicated the book to her um, and the words that I spoke in the front of the book are absolutely true. She is my love and she is my life. She is my first and only reason. Um, so to Amanda, this beautiful lady over here. wouldn't be here without you baby so thank you. Uh, to the guys from Pan Mac and my editor and my agent, but none of those guys are here so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of guys from Pan Mac here, and it's here at least, someone. Um, and that's about it. So I have, the, you might see on the display table over there, there's a bunch of bookmarks that are totally gratis. You can grab a fistful if you like. I've got more if we run out. 
There's also a little book, um, it's a kid's book called The Little Storm Dancer that I made for my editor when she had a baby uh, earlier this year, but we print out a bunch of them tonight as a present to all of you for being here, so feel free to grab one. And I'm going to sign some books later if you don't feel weird about that. <laughs> weird about it, but if you don't feel weird, feel free to come up. Um, I'll be sitting somewhere around and yeah, uh, I'll sign your books for you. And then we'll head out to Robot and I'll get messy. <laughs> I think I deserve it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here, guys. It's awesome to see you all here. Woo